This general science practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, if one parent is a recessive carrier of an allele for a disorder and one parent is a non-carrier of an allele for the disorder, what is the probability of their child having the disorder? So let's talk about alleles for a second. Alleles are what make up someone's genotype, that is their genes. And in this case, I'm gonna say the letter variable capital D represents someone who is a non-carrier of the disorder, and the letter variable little d represents someone who is a recessive carrier of the disorder. So using those two alleles, we can create three genotypes. We can create the genotype big D, big D. This person is a non-carrier of the disorder, and they do not have the disorder themselves. We have the genotype big D, little d. This means the person does not have the disorder, but they are a recessive carrier of the allele for the disorder, which is little d. Now, when you have the genotype little d, little d, this person has the disorder and they carry the recessive allele for the disorder. When a genotype is expressed, in this case, it's expressed as this disorder, it's called a phenotype. All right, so in order to calculate uh, the probability of their child having the disorder, we're going to use what's called a Punnett square, which is something you probably used in freshman level biology in high school. Again, we're talking about offspring, so we're going to need a mom and a dad. Now, right here, it says one parent is a recessive carrier of an allele for the disorder. So I'm going to say the mom is the recessive carrier of the allele for the disorder. So her genotype is going to be big D, little d. And it says one parent is a non-carrier of the allele for the disorder. So that's going to be big D, big D as their genotype. And so let's go ahead and combine these using the Punnett square. In this first box, we have big D from the dad, big D from the mom. This person is a non-carrier of the disorder. Uh, let's look at the second box. We get big D from the dad, little d from the mom. This person is a recessive carrier, but they do not have the disorder themselves. Let's go to this third box. We get big D from the dad, big D from the mom. This person is a non-carrier of the disorder. Then finally, in this fourth box, we get a big D from the dad and a little d from the mom. This person is a recessive carrier of the allele for the disorder, but they do not have the disorder themselves. So in this case, we do not see the genotype DD, which means that this mom and dad would have a 0% chance of producing an offspring that has the disorder. So this one is a 